قفص را به سوزان Burn the cage and free the birds, she sings. The dawn of freedom is near. Nargis Mohammadi has lost her career, family and freedom in her fight for change in Iran. But even from the darkest cells of the notorious Evin prison in Tehran, the 51-year-old human rights activist fearlessly continues her path. And this is what has led to her receiving this year's Nobel Peace Prize. To Nargis Mohammadi, for her fight against the oppression of women in Iran and her fight to promote human rights and freedom for all. Over the past 30 years, Mohammadi has fought against government repression, campaigned for women's rights and the abolition of the death penalty. While many Iranians celebrate the award, a 16-year-old girl has been in a coma guarded by security agents in the intensive care unit of a military hospital in Tehran. Armita Garavand entered a subway car in Tehran early Sunday on her way to school. Minutes later, she was dragged out unconscious and laid on the train platform. This has evoked broad comparisons with Massa Amini, who died last year at 22 in the custody of the morality police after being accused of violating Iran's hijab rules. Her death led to the biggest nationwide protests across the country in decades, in which the brutal crackdown by the authorities left 500 killed and over 22,000 arrested. Since then, Nargis has lent her powerful voice to the victims and their families, finding ways to publicize the abuse inside prisons. I hope that this award will lead to Nargis Mohammadi's freedom and the freedom of other political prisoners. Shirin Ebadi is a UK-based Iranian human rights lawyer and activist, and Mohammadi's longtime mentor and colleague, who also won the Nobel Peace Prize back in 2003 for her own activism. The message that this award sends to the Islamic Republic is that the world is watching you. Stop violating the human rights and harassment of your own people. Do you think that could lead to any change? I hope it does, but it's too soon to tell. Sahar Zand, Sky News.